as the jockeys enter the parade ring for race four, which in actual fact is the first half of the Fair Joe handicap, which is race three, uh, split in two. After the split, we had 11 uh, declared to start, and they're all here. We start with horse number one, Hometown Queen. She's tackling this distance for the first time. She's ridden by Carla Ramboran and carries 108 pounds, and she's at odds of 15 to one. Number five, it's a rule okay. She's at the very long odds of 99 to one, ridden by the apprentice Ray Herbert and carries 112 pounds. And as the jockey prepares to mount horse number six, Scorcher, she's the, one of the joint favorites at odds of four to one, ridden by Venice Richards and he's carrying 123 pounds today. Uh, number two, we go back to number two, El Caballo having a second start uh, for, the seat, for the meeting and uh, indeed in her career she's ridden by Slade Callahan with 111 pounds and uh, odds of 7 to 1. Horse number 3, born a native at 6 to 1, ridden by Everton Miller, the Jamaican jockey and he's carrying 112 pounds. Number 4, Rich Giff, he's one of the joint favorites of 4 to 1, ridden by Neil Brewster, he carries 115 pounds. Number seven prepares to leave the parade ring. He is a first time starter here at the garrison. Martin could bred two trial. Currently at odds of 91, are ridden by Jeff Brown, the apprentice carrying 120 pounds. We go on to number eight. This is Winter Frolic, also at odds of 91, ridden by the apprentice Brown, uh, carries 129 pounds. He claims seven. Number nine is the other joint favorite at four to one, Lady Helen. She's ridden today by Elton Shuris and carries 117 pounds. Right coming behind her is number 10, Uncle Lee. He has a very long odds of 99 to 1, written by the apprentice Ricky Paris, and carries 112 pounds. And our final starter, horse number 11, coming off a good second last time out, Hot Chocolate, written by Grantley Gardner, carries 113 pounds, and uh, she is at 7 to 1 at the moment. We have a field of 11 for this, the first half of the Fair Joe Handicap, and Dave Bernard, as usual, is going to bring us the call. And there they go, everybody's out, hot chocolate, a little slowly, rule of cake came out, Scorcher is the first to show, hometown queen on the inside, Uncle Lee, then Lady Helen coming towards the front as well, past us here for the first time, hometown queen is the leader from Scorcher, Lady Helen, they're going at a great gallop, Uncle Lee going across, El Caballo on the inside, rich gift. Um, then the one on the outside is Rule OK, Rich Gift between horses, Hot Chocolate. The last one is Born a Native, who stood up unfortunately, and then two trial. Going to the five furlong marker, and Carlo Rambaran has hometown queen Lola Malong in front, very comfortably, length and a half clear of Lady Helen and Scorcher. Then another, another couple back to El Caballo, who goes well, Winter Frolic goes well. On the inside, Hot Chocolate is making ground. Between horses comes Rich Gift, then the next one through is Uncle Lee. Then two trial beginning to pick up, Born a Native way out of it. Up the hill they go, three and a half and the leader is still hometown queen on the inside El Caballo storms up alongside to join the leader and go in front now making ground from behind comes Winter Frolic who goes well on the inside Scorcher is being ridden on they come back to the quarter mark and hometown queen replies to El Caballo's challenge and sticks her head back in front but Winter Frolic going best of all as they reach the quarter mark Scorcher is under pressure Rich Gift is out of it two trial making ground but too much to do Lady Helen out of it to the Savannah courts and it is hometown queen who turns for home on the inside first Carla Rambo Ran may have her first one here. Here comes through the middle, comes El Caballo. Winter Frolic on the outside. Scorcher is finishing like a train, but on the inside is his hometown queen who's running on very strongly to Carla Rambaran's urging, and she's going to get her way on the outside. Two Trial finishes like a train, but Carla Rambaran has her first winner on hometown queen, makes all the running from to Martinique and Two Trial, who was way out of it with four furlongs to go. The next one through on the inside is El Caballo, who ran a grand one. Trainer Neil Skeet goes to join trainer Richard Dean, and I think we should have a big round of applause for Carla Rambaran.